Today I'm gonna show you guys how to fix the MBR2 GPT command error that says disk layout validation failed. So I already fixed the problem. I'm just gonna show you real quick what I did to fix it. I wasn't installing a new operating system. I just needed to convert the partition style over to GPT. So once I got the error, I went over to system32 and I looked for this file here called setup ACT and in here it showed me an error that said that the last partition was too close to the end of the disk so if you are getting a similar error then you can follow along to fix it so you can run MBR to GPT and if you are installing a new operating system on a new machine and you need to convert the disk uh, you can also follow along if you're using command prompt from the installation environment. So first thing is you want to open the command prompt as the administrator. And then we're going to use this partition. So type in disk part. Then you're going to list the disk. And then you're going to select the disk that you're working with. And now we're going to list the partitions. Uh, list part and if your hard drive has a partition called recovery and your error is related to the last partition too close to the end of the disk then we want to select that partition and what we want to do is we want to delete the recovery partition now Windows operates completely fine with without the recovery partition so what you would do is you would go ahead and do a delete partition override. So in this case, um, you will press enter. I'm not going to do that because I already went through this process. And once you delete the partition, you could go ahead and exit out of this part. Once you get out of this part, then you now could go ahead and type in the MBR to EPT command. If you are running this on a full Windows, you need to type in allow full OS. If you're running it on the installation media command prompt, you may not have to type this. So now you'll be able to do the validate and then you'll be able to do the convert. So this is how I took care of the problem with the disk layout validation problem. If you have any questions, any comments, leave them below and please subscribe.